algae mortis is the cooling of the body after death. So after you pass away, so after you die, your body will start cooling at a rate of about one to one and a half degrees Fahrenheit per hour. Uh, it will be that way until about 12 hours, and then after that it will decrease to about 0.7 degrees per hour, roughly. Um, you can estimate uh, how many hours have passed since death by using the equation on your screen. Uh, it's a fairly easy equation to use. You just have to take the internal body temp. Uh, in order to measure the body temp, you can't put a thermometer in the corpse's mouth and expect them to hold it under their tongue for a minute. Uh, you are actually going to test the core of the body by either putting a temperature probe into their liver uh, or into their brain itself. Most of the time it'll be liver. Uh, if you're alive, the rectal temperature is actually the most accurate temperature of the core of your body. Uh, however, if the person has passed away, you do have to check for signs of sexual assault first to make sure that you are not damaging any evidence if you are going to take a rectal temperature. Uh, if a patient didn't die immediately after an insult, uh, this could change the time of death by several hours uh, because you may see struggles uh, of death starting but you may not have, you like your temperature may not match the other signs of death. So factors that affect algor mortis. So factors affecting how quickly the body will cool down after death. Uh, body weight is a main factor. Uh, the larger the person is, the slower their body will cool. The smaller the body, then the faster they will cool. So if they're very, very skinny, they will cool very quickly. Uh, edema, so how much swelling they have. If they have a lot of swelling, then that will slower their cooling rate. Uh, the surface area of the body, so if they have a large surface area that is exposed, it will speed up the cooling rate. Uh, if they die with clothing on, or their posture, or if they have emaciation, that will also affect algor mortis. Uh, the environmental temperature will, so if it's got a very high humidity like the jungle in the picture, that will increase the cooling rate, so you'll have a very rapid cooling rate. Uh, if you have rapid air velocity, which is a fancy term for wind, uh, that will also uh, have a rapid cooling rate. Uh, water is another thing. Uh, if they are in water, it will have a rapid cooling rate because the body will decrease in temperature until it is equal with the water. Uh, it'll have an even faster uh, cooling rate if it is in flowing water. So if they are just in a lake and there's no rapid movement of water, it will still rapidly cool. However, it will cool even faster than that if they are in a river or if they are in some sort of moving water. Um, if there is a fulminating infection, so something like septicemia, which is a bacteria infection throughout your entire body, uh, the body temperature can actually continue to rise for some hours after death, so it may not decrease as quickly as you would expect.